Hello everyone. In today's video, we will make our first script or code in our game. We will make the console say hello world to us. And if you're wondering what the console and script and code are, I'll explain that right now. If you watched my Python series where I explained about Python, you would know that code script, you know what code script and the console is. But if you haven't, the console is the place where all sorts of messages appear that you, or mistakes that you've made in your code. Or maybe something you want to display in your code to know if it's working, if a part is working or not. The script is basically instructions for your game. The game will then read over your script and will perform the tasks you want it to do. You can do anything you want using scripts and code if you coded it correctly. The information inside the script is called the code. It's very easy to get the code messed up and that is why it requires extreme dedication and time to make your game and learn how to code. Enough talking, let's get started. We need a program to open the script. Although we don't really need one, on Mac it will by default open text edit. This is very uncomfortable to use and I prefer using something that's much easier to code with. In this case, we'll be downloading a program from the internet. If you're on Mac, follow these instructions. If you're not, uh, I'd prefer to skip this part because we will begin by downloading the program Visual Studio for Mac. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the page where we download the program. As I said, we will be downloading the program Visual Studio for Mac. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to search up Visual Studio for Mac. Here it is. Click return to open up the search and click the first link that will appear right here. Then this page should appear. You'll see this button saying download Visual Studio for Mac and click this. Click no thanks to the survey and wait until the file appears. If it doesn't start downloading, Click this blue text to return. So once the file stops and is now finished downloading, double click it to open it up. And this icon should appear. Double click the icon. And the thing you should get is this once it finishes click open if this message appears uh it will say thank you for downloading visual studio for mac click continue and then click done it will take some time to install but as i already installed this i don't have to wait when it finishes installing you should see this page which will appear right now yes this and if you see this that means you're doing it right but make but there should not be these projects that are already done now what we need to do is open the project we made in the last episode so we're gonna go to unity hub and open the project I created a new project because I lost the old one. So this project is going to be the blank one, but you might have the old project that we made in the last episode. The first thing we need to do is in Unity, click the Unity up here, click Preferences, and this tab should open it up make it wider 
and there will be a bunch of options here click external tools and up here when it says external script editor make sure it's set to visual studio for mac if it's not set it to there next click the x and now we need to create a script the way you create a script is you right click you go up to create you click c sharp script and now you name it name it whatever you want but make sure to leave no spaces so i'm going to put my first unity script and click return and now the script is created double click to open it up in visual studio Once this opens up, you will see all of this. So, in all of this, these are where we import the objects that we use for here. This is a class. If you watched my video in Python, you might know something about this. And these are functions. I also explained this in my video in Python. But all you really need to do is underneath void start right here click return and type in debug make sure there's a capitalized d then put a dot and type in log we have a capitalized l then put parentheses and those two commas it should automatically put two and it should automatically put two parentheses now type in hello space world and now to end it off type in this uh, character so what we did here is we typed debug.log this is the this is the method that you use to put something in the logs and right here in console here is the logs Here is like the console. And then we put parentheses. We have to put parentheses here to indicate that we want to give this give this function net uh, information for what we want to display. Next, we put these double commas or yeah. And inside these we type hello world. This indicates that we're putting a string, and in other words, it indicates that we want to put, we want to type something inside there. You don't have to put hello world, you can put anything else you want, but for this example, I'll put hello world. And at the end of every single line, except some, with some exceptions, such as these lines, this functions, these also where we type in a comment and if and for statements but we'll learn about those later so now we type in command s or go to file save right here there if we go back we have to go and type in and up here in the hierarchy underneath Right here, where the sam where this well you see these, you right click and create empty. Name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna go with game object. And now right here in the inspector underneath, you'll see all these data. This is like the position where this object is stored, but we don't need to know about this. Because we need to add our script that we just made to this game object. We do this by clicking add component and you'll see that the script we just created, my first unity script is up here. If you named your script something different, type the name of your script and it should appear. So click this and this should appear. And if it does, that means you are done. Make sure that you typed this correctly and underneath this, void start. 
And now, if you click play, when you go to console, you will see a message saying hello world or your text should appear. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.